Howdy and welcome back to the Shady Acres family room where today we'll be talking about the Blue Eddy AC200P battery backup system and tomorrow we'll be back in the shop with an all new wood turning video. I thought I'd save you the time of watching me take this thing out of the box. We've all seen people do that before. I can tell you that it was packed really well. It was double box and it had dense foam on all the surfaces and in the box it weighed 77 pounds but now that it's out of the box it's about 60 pounds. Fortunately Bluetti thought to uh, put handles one on each side to make it easy to carry. You can carry it by yourself or you can carry it with a partner like on the way to a picnic table or down to the beach. As soon as it arrived I removed all of the cables from the carry bag that they have and found the 110 volt AC charging cable and plugged that in and turned it on until the screen came up. Now I think that this is a full service battery backup system. The charge was at 63% and within about 90 minutes it was charged up to 100%. This unit has 2000 watts of power but I do feel it's limited for home use although quite useful for short power outages. With this particular unit you can power a standard refrigerator freezer that most of us have and you can also keep power flowing to your TV, radio, a few lights, your internet and Wi-Fi, a computer and monitor, a coffee maker, all while still charging your phone and other electronic gizmos. It has 17 power outlets of various types including 6 110 volt AC outlets, 5 USB charging ports, 2 under each of these, and it includes a type C rated at 60 watts. There are three 12 volt outlets including a cigarette style, a 12 volt 3 amp, and a 12 volt 25 amp output. And this is really cool in addition to all of that there's two wireless charging pads right on top of the unit where you can just set your phone down or whatever you might have, tablet or whatever, and charge it up. And those are 15 watts each fairly powerful. On the left side we have two inputs. One is to charge from 110 volt. I already showed you that. The other is to charge from uh, your car battery so you can charge this thing up while you're driving and it, or you can also use that same connection for solar panels. And it comes with all the cables and whatnot necessary to put this to good use. You can, of course, charge from a generator in an extended power outage or directly from a 12 volt battery if you buy the optional cable for that. With the battery option, the unit even has a built in shut off so it won't discharge that battery fully. You can even be charging this unit while it's, while using its various outputs as well. It's just an amazing piece. Getting back to the front, we'll take a look at that touch screen panel. Now I'm not going to pretend to know what all this can do because I just haven't used it that much. But there's a myriad of buttons and features and things you can do here. Uh, as far as choosing the output that you want to use, what type of output, 110 volt or 12 volt or both you can go through these different screens and you can see if there's any faults that might have happened like an overload or a short maybe you got a bad extension cord or something there's just screen after screen on here I do wish uh, the screen was a little brighter it's kinda of washed out isn't it I turned one of my lights down so maybe you can see it a little bit better but there's there's just all sorts of things you can do. There's six screens just on this particular button. And of course you can track uh, the percentage of charge in the unit. As I said this can help out in the home 
Uh, during a brief power outage, you'd probably get by for five, six, seven hours, depending on how much of a load you put on the piece. But where I see the best use scenario is outside, where power may not be available. Construction sites come to mind as well, uh, as well as if you have a little bit of acreage like I do here, and you can't always be within the reach of an outlet or an extension cord. This can run all sorts of power tools that might be needed to maintain the property or for building decks, sheds, etc. That kind of thing. So you can see there I've plugged in three power tools. I'll show you those in a moment. You see that we're at 100% on the touch screen. I've unplugged. It's, not, it's no longer being charged. So it's just holding its 100%. And let's get these tools running and see what happens. I chose what I thought might be three commonly used tools. I've got a small router there, handheld router. I've got a belt sander and I've got a seven and a quarter inch skill saw. I'm gonna turn one on at a time and run all three of them at the same time. Let's see what kind of amperage we're talking about here. This is uh, 5.6 5.6 amps for that. The sander is 5.6 amps for that as well. That's interesting. And this I already looked is 13 amps. So that's a big power draw. But we're going to run them all at the same time and just see if it can handle it. I'm going to turn this on just let it sit here on this non-slip material so it doesn't go sliding all over the place. I'd say that's quite a load. Uh, and looking over here at the screen on the Bluetti, it's still at 99%. Now, of course, I wasn't doing anything with those. They were just running. I wasn't sanding. I wasn't sawing. I wasn't routing. But all three of them ran at the same time and for not long, less than a minute or a minute or so. And we're down to 99%. So I'd say that's pretty amazing. That would keep a couple of guys busy for quite a few hours, wouldn't you think? I also think this would be perfect for tailgating, like at a, a ball game or camping. Just imagine all the appliances and electronics you can power to make life a little more civilized at the stadium or out in the forest or at the beach or just for convenience while picnicking or traveling, especially with kids and all their games and phones and all that stuff they use. I see there's a vent on this side and another vent on this side. I believe there's cooling fans in there just in case this thing gets near overload and, and hot. It'll cool itself down. We already covered the outlets here. There's really not much more to see. The back is just plain. It says Blue Eddie back there. That's about it. It's, it does have a 2,000 watt pure sine wave inverter that can get this withstand 4,800 watt surge. A 2,000 watt inverter that can stand a surge of 4,800 watts. That means when your refrigerator starts up, a typical refrigerator freezer combination draws about 700 watts with a 2,200 watt starting surge. So this will easily handle that. If you have uh, one of those portable refrigerators that people put in the back seat of their car to keep their drinks cold or their sandwiches cold or whatever they got going, those draw 45 watts. So this will easily handle that. Uh, an electric refrigerator inside of an RV, those draw about 110 watts. Easily handle that. I mean, inside of here is uh, what's called a LifePo 4 battery that can be recharged 3,500 times. 3,500 times. And that's from 10% to 
If you only charge it from say 50% to 100%, that only counts as one half charge. You can charge it from many sources such as 110 volt combined with a solar charge or from 210 volt sources if you get the optional cable for that for an even faster recovery. You can expand the model by adding an additional LifePo 4 battery onto this. I think they're about half the size of this and that would be a battery number B230 from Blue Eddy. Another thing that I really like that you can't even see is on the bottom there's four thick rubber pads to keep this from hurting anything that it's setting on and to keep it from slipping and sliding away. It's like they thought of everything. As far as the company Blue Eddy, uh, you know I, I've never heard of them. I have never really looked for one of these units. I didn't know that I might like to have one. I, it just never really entered my mind. I always think of a generator when the power goes out. Dang, I wish I had a generator or something like that. But uh, I can tell you that this arrived within about three or four days of when they told me they were sending it. So they got to have a lot of warehouses around to ship from. Uh, I did check them out online a little bit and their products are very highly regarded. I can tell you the unit feels very substantial and well built. It's just, it's just the fit and finish, well I already said that, it's just, a, it's incredible. It's very nice, very nice, very substantial, obviously quality piece of equipment. You can immediately tell you're dealing with a well built piece of equipment that's probably going to last for years to come. Now they have many battery backup systems. This is a look at the Blue Eddy store on Amazon. As I've said, they've got plenty, plenty of units to choose from, including much larger ones intended for use at the home to back up your whole home. If they decide they want to send me one of those someday, along with maybe some solar panels, I've got a great idea on how that could be used in a power outage at home in the winter when it seems like it always happens to keep your house well lit and convenient and also warm. I can tell you that in, in the short time that I've had this and the little use that I've given it, I'm very impressed. I may even have to haul out my mini lathes for some shade tree wood turnings come summer. Be sure you take a look at the video description below this window for links to get more information about the Blue Eddy AC200P. All the information I've given you was provided by the owner's manual and the Blue Eddy website. Thanks for watching and don't forget we're back to our normal turning video tomorrow, Thursday. Until then, this is Phil, Shady Acres Woodshop, signing off.